Hi Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, as usual, I have a special sales offer available and for this month it's inspired in the current Leo theme season we are on and if you would like to know more information about it, just read uh, the description box below where I'll put um, the info about it. But also if you have more questions, just email me. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below. So, Capricorn, it feels like some of you, you know, you need to hit the pause button a little bit here during August, or August can be felt like the more you try to rush something, race into something, be impulsive, those, those type of energies, it backfires. So, in question about if you should or shouldn't do something now, probably you shouldn't. It's almost like August is not the moment for some of you Capricorns to be on action mode. It's to be in a reflection period, in a period of gathering of information, even on re-establishing your energy to the right point so then later you can act, you know, in a more with less obstacles kind of way because it feels like some of you Capricorns are trying to do something and you do it and then there's an obstacle and you have to back you know back off a little and then you do it again and you back off a little and you're tired of this type of um, erratic motion erratic energy uh, defining your um, the results you want to bring into the table so for some of you this is about work this is about management of resources, management as well of people, personalities that clash with each other, personalities that don't agree with you. And instead of going uh, here in a rage mode or my way or no way, again, understanding that there's contacts and people here that you also need. And instead of, again, fighting, or trying to impose your energy by authority is retracting a little bit and really thinking about why something is not working um, with harmony, why something is not fluidly occurring in your life as you would like. Because I feel like by making a proper analysis here a really deep thought some of you Capricorns can get to the wise you can get to the problem you can get to discover uh, where is the error so then you can repair it so then you can fix it but you can't it's almost like you can't you can't fix um, a situation without processing you know data so some of you need to process data, you need to process all, you know, of what entails in the situation that is concerning you or just is, that is frustrating you. Whatever it is, take some time. You're not missing on something. I feel like some of you are feeling like you're missing on the moment or you're missing on, you know, it's like if you don't do it now, it's, not, it's, 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 it's never going to happen. And it feels like that's the challenge, is for you to calm down. There's something in your life that most likely in August is bringing you the opposite feeling, like you can't be calm, or you're restless, you're agitated, you're competitive, you might even be very, you know, cunning about the way you move about something here, because you really don't want to miss your place there's something here about you don't want to miss your place in a particular opportunity offer. This can even be about conquest of, a, of someone. There's something about conquests, right? You want to conquer something. And when told to hold your horses, you're probably not going to like it. Or probably going to feel like that's not the right thing to do. 
Sometimes the right thing to do, what feels right and versus the smartest thing to do are different. This is about playing smart. This is about, um, not. it's not about playing safe, it's about playing smart. There's something here about you playing smart, choosing to play smart or your advice to you because what you want there's a feeling almost like a feeling here like what you want is already yours uh, it's like you don't need to go to battle because of this so it's almost like whatever it is that you have in mind that you want to conquer it's already yours but if you go into a fight you can then put that at risk it's more like that feeling here for others of you this is about the steadiness of your own being so some of you can feel anxious again agitated nervous you can feel like you're not at peace with yourself or in yourself in your thoughts in your emotions in your body so there can be a lot of things stressing you out and those are symptoms that you are in need of quiet to quiet down to find the approach the treatment the medicine that would bring you back into balance or into if not into balance into a better state of feeling thinking so then you can take actions and you can make choices that are going to be fruitful and not again backfire here because there's something there's a differentiation between things that can be fruitful and things that can backfire very easily if you don't move in in your energy right so you want to take care of yourself if you're not feeling at your best because that is going to have an immediate result as well effect that's going to have an immediate effect in the result you want to have in other things in your life some of you are very much focused here into something. Something that might have took you some time to have. It's almost like um, some of you Capricorns come from backgrounds where you fought so much along the way to have what you have right now. Uh, so perhaps that's why you're always on the mode of fighting because that's the background you come from and when you're asked to not do anything about it you can feel like again it's unnatural because you're so con when we get used to fighting when we get used to to drama tribulation adrenaline that comes from drama uh when we are used to all of that type of energy we get almost like addicted there's a part to us that can get addicted to this type of dynamics so you maybe you're asked to unplug from a tendency of behavior um, that it's not healthy for you just because things were like that in your past didn't mean that they were good and didn't mean that they have to continue to be especially that they have to continue to be and there's something about that being one of the biggest lessons for some of you is that something doesn't have to continue to be you know done the way it has um, been in the past because it's too um demanding on yourself it creates affliction in your system like shock constant shock so there's something you're interesting about almost like this feeling of um you know again the electricity the the adrenaline the the sparks that are ignited via drama, via stress, via conflicts, things that push us to the limits. Basically, you're some of you are used to push yourself to the limits and you're asked to not go there simply because you don't need to. 
and because you need an opposite you need an opposite energy which is to center yourself not to push yourself uh, to the limits why push yourself to the limits if you can be in a much more safe and stable position and still receive not the same even more you receive even more than if you would push yourself to the limits right now under this influence most likely again backfire somehow most likely it would backfire to you you won't you wouldn't either you would receive what you wanted and you fought for but then drop it and you know lose interest and move into the next battle because if that becomes an addiction and a pattern, most likely that's what happens. Or the consequences in terms of your well-being would just be too harsh. So have that in mind. I hope you have a great month. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.